to get it but when I do I will share the news with you guys and I can't wait to read it and I'm pretty sure that something's going to happen but I can't wait to see what happens in the book so let's get on into the third book so this is the last segment a new segment in the series where I'm going to be picking two books that my subscribers recommended me or a book topic that they would like me to read so I have two comments that I got. This one right here which says to read a, try to read books about Greek mythology and I have been looking into Greek mythology books because I personally don't like studying about Greek mythology but I've heard about some great books that sound really interesting to me and that is the Percy Jackson series which is by Rick Riordan. And we follow Percy Jackson who is God so his father is God and his mother is not and this is very much giving me Hercules vibes and that's one of the main reasons that I want to read it and he finds out that he's a half God and it's about him and I think he has ADHD and dyslexia so this should be very interesting and after that I know they have other series like the Kane Chronicles also by Rick Riordan the Trials of Apollo and The Monkish Chase, which are all series about different types of mythology that I might get to if I like the Percy Jackson series. So, so Percy Jackson, he, once he finds out he's a demigod, I think it's called, he goes to this camp called Half Blood and he basically trains to, and to train other gods. And again, this gives me very much Hercules vibes because. That's what I feel like in the movie Hercules, that's what he did. So 
I can't wait to read this book. Again, I don't know when I'll be able to get it, but this is the book that I'm most excited to read on this list. So let's get on into the fourth and final book. Okay, the fourth and final book that I'm gonna be talking about is A Girl Named Disaster by Nancy Farmer. This book follows a girl named Nahomo. I'm not sure who pronounced it right, but she lives in a town in Africa, I think I can't pronounce the name, so I'm not even gonna try. And she doesn't really fit in there and her family forces her into marrying a cruel man and she runs away to Zimbabwe which is somewhere in Africa. And she um, thinks it's gonna be very quick, but it turns into a very dangerous trip and she needs the most, she needs the most courage right now. And I think she's only 11. This sounds like a very interesting book, but, and she's also trying to meet her father which she never met, so I think it's very interesting, but I just have so many questions that I want answers to, but I'm sure when I get to reading this book, I will find them all out. So thank you guys for watching all of my, <laughs> to see your comment in the next, in the next episode of this series, make sure to comment down below any book, any book that you want me to see you read or talk about in this series or any book topic and I will pick a book based on the topic that you comment. So comment down below because I need to pick two of your comments to be in this next episode for this series. So um I'll see you I see you guys in my next video and bye. This whole video and um if you want to, if you want to, thank you guys for watching. I just want to know why, like, um, fight other guys that are like, af like, you know, he's like fight. Um, he is, um, ha um, um, uh, um, he. Ash Princess Embers. M. Okay, yeah, it has three books. I can't think of all three of them right now. Um, I sorry, the princess becomes a princess and gets cousins to get rid. Think. All right, talk. Hi guys, it's Rook and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I will be doing my first series. Alright guys, so today. Hi guys, 